people around the world are celebrating a turning point on our planet. It took two decades, but now a historic agreement on climate change signed by nearly every nation in the world. The bang of a gavel cementing the deal, a limit on greenhouse gas emissions that could reduce the effects of climate change. President Obama offering his praise a short time ago, saying the agreement offers the best chance to save the one planet we have. But there are protesters weighing into criticizing that deal for not going far enough. What is certain tonight? The effect of this agreement will be felt for generations. ABC's Alex Marquardt starts us off tonight. A standing ovation and tears tonight as almost every country in the world agreed to the landmark deal aimed at preventing catastrophic climate change. Tonight, the White House called it the most ambitious climate change agreement in history. This agreement represents the best chance we've had to save the one planet that we've got. 195 countries signing on to the agreement, the culmination of two decades of negotiations that had failed until now. In the end, two weeks of intense talks outside Paris, including several all-nighters for the delegates, led to the deal that goes into effect in 2020, whose goal is limiting the warming of the Earth to less than 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Each country came up with a plan to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and will be required to publicly report them. We've reached an agreement here that is the strongest, most ambitious global climate change agreement ever negotiated. But much of the agreement is voluntary and not legally binding. Developing countries like China, which has seen horrendous smog in recent weeks, won't be required to report as much about their emissions. And the deal doesn't have a way to punish countries that don't live up to the agreement. Climate scientists agree that global warming won't end because of this deal. And while some are saying it falls short, it's being celebrated around the world as a momentous breakthrough. Cecilia. Alex, thank you.